Hello, this is Leah Vernon with Emerging Writers and Speakers, and today we're going to have a short yet fun video on uh, this new reality show called Tiny and Toya. Um, for those who don't know who Tiny and Toya is, um, Tiny is T.I.'s baby mama, ex-baby mama, and... Uh, Toya is Lil Wayne's ex-wife. Now both of these women have children uh, by these rappers, these famous rappers, and um, they collect child support from them, and I, I'm assuming they're very large sums of child support, because um, in the previews of the show, they have lavish lives, houses, cars, uh, jewelry, purses, like whatever they want, they got it, um, you know, thanks to having the children by these rappers and uh, I was reading the the epilogue on BT's website because I don't really know much about the show but you know I mean I know it aired last week but I didn't yeah I don't watch it like that but I thought it was very interesting because um it splattered over the internet like it, it seriously is everywhere I went to a radio st I went to like several African American radio stations and all it is, all you see is Tiny and Toya, Tiny and Toya. Previews Tuesday on BET, Tiny and Toya. So it's like everywhere. It's on like YouTube, Facebook, it's everywhere. So I'm like, okay. I'm not going to actually watch it unless I like, you know, fumble upon the show. But I'm just saying. So I was reading the epilogue on BET. And um, it was basically saying, you know, that uh, they're they're tired of being in, in the shadows of their husband's success and that they want to, you know, step out and be somebody. And I think uh, T.I.'s baby mama, uh, Tiny, she used to be a singer and that her and T.I. had met in the 90s. So, you know, he's been with her and having children by her. And the other one, um, I'm not quite sure, but I know that, you know, it did say that she called it quits. She didn't want to be married to Lil Wayne anymore. And that was funny to me because I'm like, who wouldn't want to be married to Wheezy F Baby? Seriously. I, I would do my Lil Wayne voice, but I can't do it. Uh, I don't really sound like him that much. His voice is so different, I can't really sound like him. But yeah, uh, who wouldn't want to be married to Lil Wayne? He's so cool, isn't he? So little, got a little teardrops on his face, so cute. Got a little dreadlocks, little skinny jeans on. But I diverge. Um, so back to Tiny and Toya. So on the, um, basically on their epilogue on the BET website, they're saying, you know, they want to get into their careers, they want to start businesses. And I'm like, wow, that's awesome. They're going to start businesses. I wonder what they'll do. So at the bottom, um, you know, Tiny, she wants to get back into singing. And uh, Toya, she wants to empower young women through her story. And I was like, wow, that's awesome. She wants to teach young girls how to marry a rapper, marry a famous rapper, okay? Doesn't end right there. Marry a famous rapper, have children by him, collect child support, and live lavishly. It's amazing. The plan is amazing. <laughs> it's like, it's foolproof. And when I see, you know, whatever business she has or seminar she has, I'm going to definitely raise my hand like, excuse me, Toya, how do I marry a rapper and have children with him so I can live lavishly and have a business like you? It's foolproof. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, um, that's that, and uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to watch it yet. I really don't know. I think I'm, I, I may watch it. I mean, if, if it, I mean, I've seen the previews after the BET Awards. And, of course, they were there after the BET Awards, Tiny and Toya, sitting there with Jamie Foxx and uh, that gay black lady. What's her name? Queen Latifah. So, yeah, they're with her, and they're talking and stuff. And it's like, wow, you guys are pretty... I mean, Toya, she looks, she looks really cute to me, but Tiny, ooh, what can I say? I mean, I'm not trying to be rude or nothing, or like, uh, talk about nobody, but there's something wrong with that girl. I mean, <laughs> her hair is like platinum blonde, okay, and her face looks like, um, kind of like a butter face, like, it's like, mmm, 
I'm like, wow, her face looks like butter. Like, someone could just touch it and do like this and just smear it. Like, it's like, and she looks like she's about 72 years old, at least 72. Um, she looks pretty, she looks older. So, yeah, that's a problem right there, too. And um, she talks pretty funny. She has like this little weird voice. I don't know where that came from. But, yeah, and when I first saw the previews on TV, I'm like, I know my baby T.I., because I love me some T.I., I said, I know my baby T.I. didn't um, have no kids with this girl. I know I know he didn't. He wouldn't do that to me. He wouldn't do that to me. But, yeah, he had children, lots of children by her. I haven't seen them yet to, you know, see if they look like a butterface or look like my baby T.I. I don't know yet, but I will be looking out for that. And uh, but Lil Wayne did good. You know, totally cute. Big ups to Lil Wayne. He looked cute. But, yeah, so basically this show, it's like anybody can get a show now. I mean, you would never think, you know, back in the 90s that people would have all these reality these reality TV shows pop up. It's like, wow, there are, like, so many different reality TV shows on different things. And, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be a hit TV show, but anything to do with people who know celebrities or people who have close interaction with celebrities or actual celebrities is, and it's going to be drama it's going to be tears, it's going to be divorces, it's going to be battles. I mean, people want to watch that kind of stuff. So I I think, you know, big up to Tiny and Toya for doing their thing. You know, I would suggest to Tiny that she would uh, do something with her face and stop talking like that. But uh, that's just my opinion. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be a hater or anything. I mean, she she's okay, but it's not like that's T.I.'s, like, status. I'm thinking T.I. status, like, up here. But, like, with her, it's, like, just down here. It just went, like, from here to here. It's like, wow, that's crazy. But, yeah, um, so anybody can get a reality TV show. And I hope people do enjoy the show. I don't know what it's about, but um, hopefully you get empowered by Toya and her, um, drama and such so uh you know having kids by a rapper or any celebrity i mean big ups to people who have kids by celebrities who get large sums of money that's cool that's a cool uh i would like to do that too but um don't quote me on that one because i probably won't be impregnated by a rapper anytime soon um especially not a good looking one but i diverge but anyway uh thanks for listening to that and um hopefully tiny and toya have a great show and, you know, people watch and they get lots of ratings because uh, they are African American and uh, they're, they're doing their thing. So you, I, I can't hate on that and you shouldn't either. So uh, thanks for listening. And this is Leah Vernon with EmergingWritersAndSpeakers.com. Thank you.